Hello, welcome to the AKG P822 teardown, microphone teardown part number three. We need Philips and then my special tool here. Uh, the details about taking it apart are in part two of this video. And uh, the nut has to come off on the bottom here. Let me take a little helper here. Maybe with a little screwdriver you can just balance this around. It comes off pretty easy. There we go. Uh, while this is going on, I can tell you that the audio for this video consists out of a CL414 microphone on the left channel here, hello, over here, and the one I'm taking apart on the right is the microphone I'll use on the right side here. And both together give me a nice stereo. You will notice on the hum on the left video um, those are the hard drives of my computer that is standing on the left side. Okay. So we have four screws to deal with in this case. That have to come loose to take this little cage off. Um, you don't have to take anything else apart. And um, we are not replacing the, the capsules. So there is a dual capsule. We're not replacing this. The reason why we do this video here is really we just want to take a look at it. So that's why I don't remove the tube as I did in the part 2 of this video. So we are just taking a look to see how beautiful this thing is. Okay, so I use tweezers to remove the screws. And then we can pull this out. Careful. There we go. There it is. Now, in here is nothing. That's why this microphone probably needs a pop filter when you talk to it. Well, I don't have right now. So I'm plainly talking to it. While on the left side here, the CL414, I have a pop filter in front. I don't know if you hear this. Pop, pop, and pop, pop. Okay. Now when I get so close, I just need to focus. There we go, focus. And now look at this beauty. What a nice piece. Look at it. Now, I don't know how long I have to show this. Look, there's a little bit dust on that side. Isn't that beautiful? That's pure gold, my friends. Ah, look at that. <coughs> so, how often do I have to spin it? For everybody to be satisfied. Um... I'm going to put it back together. Maybe I should do this here, look at this, and then focus a little bit there. Very good. And now we go and put it together. There is a nose in here and a gap on that side. So it's very easy to find out the location and how this goes together again. There we go. Turn it around. Then we have the chrome ring to put over. Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> First we have to put the screws in, right? So I use tweezers again. To put the screws in the right location. On all four locations here. There it goes. Yeah. 
this one here. Okay. And the rocks. And the last one. And I do not tighten those screws. Right, they all first go in position. And then the last one we're gonna tighten this thing. One two three and four. I tighten it as much as I need to so that it doesn't fall out in any performance. Now if you have a microphone what makes a noise when you shake it, that's the reason to open it up to see what's loose. Like maybe you lost one of those screws. Now we have the chrome ring goes on top. There it goes. And then the cylinder here. The logo meets up with the tube for this particular microphone. And then the nut goes on there. Should be very easy and smooth. And then I'm going to use my little friend here, my little homemade helper. First a uh, regular screwdriver. Flat one. There. And then my little helper tool. There we go, almost done. Yeah, that's it. Alright. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, write comments and let me know what you think.